Um, but it's it's just it's fascinating to me. Like the the principality of Monaco is not large, no. and most of it becomes the racetrack when you're when you know on on race weekend. It's it's absolutely it's incredibly unique. I know that you know in recent years there have been discussions of like some issues with this is the shortest track on the F1 calendar and it's under the current minimum of how long a Formula One track can be. Um, and they also pay the least, you know, in their entry fees because, you know, the Monaco Grand Prix has existed since before Formula One has existed because Formula One, the first year was 1950 and the first Monaco Grand Prix was 1929. Um, but it's, you can't, I, I, I don't think you can, you know, try to step away from the history of just how in, intrinsic Monaco is to Formula One. And if you have, you know, one race a year where it's not perfect, it's not wonderful, then let Monaco be that race because of what it means to the sport. Yeah. And I think I was watching a video or reading an article. I can't remember which one. But if you ask every driver, like, what's the one race you want to win? they all say Monaco. Like there's so much history there and it's such a, you know, big deal to win at Monaco, to race at Monaco. I don't think they can ever get rid of it just because of the history there, regardless of if it's under the minimums or whatever. I think we can always make an exception for Monaco. Yeah. And and I think there always should be like, we know it's not perfect racing. We know that it's a bear to overtake and that you have to qualify well, but let that be the challenge for Monaco, especially given the backdrop that we have. And obviously we just saw an Imola. You can't overtake an Imola. You have to be good at qualifying. Um, You have to, you know, make sure your tires work but at least in monaco the backdrop is a little bit more exciting and i've been seeing a lot more lately of questions of like has formula one outgrown imola itself i think that answer could be yes um without having done a lot of research into it i think that answer could be yes but i don't think that formula one is ever going to outgrow monaco no i don't i completely agree and honestly i think it's really interesting and and poses the question of you know how important is qualifying because we have some tracks where it's it's wide enough in almost the entire track where you can overtake obviously you're not going to overtake in certain corners and things like that but there's more opportunity to overtake and you know you could qualify in what p9 like max has before and and overtake and win um that's not necessarily possible in places like imola and um monaco but it does force them to really qualify well and it really brings qualifying into being the most important thing of the weekend i think for for monaco right exactly and if if you look at say a Haas car that does qualify well but is awful on sunday monaco could actually be a really good weekend for Haas. i know and spoiler alert i took into account qualifying so much in my predictions this week. I did too. 